This is Mr. V. Uh, today we're going to learn how to make holes in Autodesk Inventor. I'm going to show you several ways to do this. Um, and you know, whichever way you decide to do this when you get on your own projects, it's kind of more your preference. Um, we want to start with a new standard IPT file, like always. Okay, when you make the holes, it's going to have to be a 3D figure, so you're either going to have to extrude it or loft it or revolve it. Uh, there's several ways you know you can make it 3D so we're gonna make a cube for this first part start your X and Y plane and let's make a, in this quadrant let's make a six inch cube so let's dimension the top six inches um, you, sh you all should be getting pretty comfortable with Inventor now so I'm going to move a little bit quicker during the basics. Okay, we've got a 6 by 6 square. Um, it's two-dimensional. We want to get into our 3D model. So let's right-click. Instead of OK, finish 2D sketch. It's going to zoom out, hit the home button. And now let's extrude this shape. We did this, I think, in video 5 was the, the first extrusion we did. Um, you can use it both ways. Let's go with the symmetric here to keep our theme let's go with six inches so now we have a cube okay and you can see it went out three inches on each side now <coughs> we're gonna put some holes in this cube the first way I'm gonna show you how to do it we're gonna do an extrusion and then we're gonna cut into it okay so we're gonna change the distance that it extrudes so let's right click on this top face you wanna choose new sketch and you can see hole there we'll look at that later Okay, it's going to flip. This is our work plane. We've got a six inch square here. So let's make a three inch circle. Or let's make a one inch circle. We don't want it too big. Okay, right click OK. Dimension this circle. It may move it. That's okay. And it shrinks it down a little bit. So now we want to dimension this. Okay. So let's say we want it four inches from the top and then three inches from the side okay so now I have a circle there on this face right click finish 2d sketch and you can see that these dimensions are showing up we could change those to move it around but we want to make a hole the first way we're gonna learn how to do it we're gonna do an extrusion so click the extrude click on this and that says six inches which is going to be all the way through um, we'll talk about that in a minute this direction we're going to change it and make it do a cut and you can see it projects it down through it okay right now we have distance six inches I can change that to three inches and you can see it only goes halfway in there four inches goes down a little bit further one inch comes up Okay, let's make it six inches, but another way you can change this, you can say all, and it goes all the way through it as well. Okay, so change it back to distance. Let's keep that at six inches and hit OK. So now you have a hole going all the way through the top part of this cube. Okay, so that's one way to do it. That's an extrusion and we did that the full distance. Um, let's go ahead and change this color here. I'm gonna pick a color, you can choose any color you want. Okay, Okay. I went with a smooth light orange color. Again, you can do whatever you like. That's a hole all the way through. Let's make another one where it's not all the way through. So right click on this same face, new sketch. It's gonna flip that to the top, that mo way you know you're working on it. This time let's make a circle and we're going to dimension it to two inches make it a little bit bigger okay almost jumps off there which is okay this time I want to align it more this way so let's say from the top to the center point right now I have 1.3 inches let's make that one and a half it's going to move it down and then from the this side I'm going to pull that up the dimension up let's make it two inches so I should move it to the left. Okay, so now we have this new hole, a lot bigger.
Okay, right click, finish 2D sketch. Again, we're going to extrude this hole. And you can see it's changed back to the default. This time we want to do a cut. And this time, let's say we want it to go in three inches. So it's halfway through there. Okay. We've got our two holes. You can see now, when you look at it, it's kind of hard to see. You always want to get at these angles. You can see it stops. It goes halfway through. Okay. Another cool thing you can do with this hole feature, and for these parts to make it more realistic, you can put threads in there. So if you click down beneath the hole, this little down arrow, <coughs> you'll see there's a thread tool. You hover over that that creates threads and holes or on shafts, studs, bolts, and you can get really advanced when you do an assembly file. Um, and you can actually go and put a part together. So let's click thread. Okay, it brings it up. The location, the specification, you can go and change the different types of thread types and things like that. If I click there, you can see it has made that a size 2 for 2 inches. Um, class 2B, it's a right hand thread. If you do a left hand, you can't really tell the difference. That's more for your assembly file, how you would put it in there. Um, but it's some pretty cool stuff you can do. Okay, so I'm going to hit apply and then close this out. So now we have threaded that hole. Okay, so that's one way to make a hole. You use the extrude button. And the important thing is you have to cut into it. Okay, you have to cut into it. Um, when you do the extrude cut, you could theoretically, we could make a square here, do a cut, or a triangle, any polygon. You can do that with the extrude feature. Okay, we're going to learn how to make, using the hole button later, it's only going to make circles. Okay, so um, this part of the video, we're done. I want you to do a file, save as, um, name this holes by extrude, or Mr. V. Lesson 8, hole extrude. Okay, so that's the first part. Make sure you save that. And then what I want you to do, close this file out. And open a new one. And we're going to learn how to make it a different way. Okay, so new IPT file, create. Okay. Again, let's make a, uh, a cube. That's the easiest thing to do, probably. It gives us multiple faces to work on. This time, let's make it 4x4. Four four. We'll make it a little bit smaller. Okay. And this part, I'm going to move pretty quick because you all should know, have a pretty good understanding of dimensioning. Okay. And dimensioning is probably the most important thing you do in Inventor. It allows you to go back and change that size. Okay, don't, when you draw your rectangle, you could type in the, the sizes, but I think it's much, much easier and efficient to go and dimension them later. Okay, let's finish that sketch. Obviously, we want to do an extrusion. If it's a cube, we want it to be four inches. Uh, last time we went symmetric, this time let's go back. Okay, so now we've got a four inch cube. We did a smooth orange last time. Let's do. Let's make it have some color to it. Let's do a wood for this one, okay? A walnut, natural wood. So now we have a wooden block. Last time we did extrusions to make holes. This time we're going to use the hole feature. So change from the thread to hole, okay? We don't want to do that just yet, okay? Uh, last time we did it on the top. This time let's do it on the front. So right click, new sketch, and let's put a point here. Okay, so right click OK. Let's dimension this two inches from the top and then two inches from the left side. And I almost got it pretty close, just eyeballing it. Okay, so now that's perfectly centered. Okay, you can't make a hole in a 2D sketch. You have to be in your 3D model. So right click, finish 2D sketch. Uh, we want to be on the front, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Use the mouse and the pan tool. Now hit the hole button, and it goes to that point automatically. 
Okay. There's all sorts of different holes you can do. Okay, this one tells you the depth of the hole is one inch. The diameter of the hole is 0.25 inches. Okay, and you can see they just have a little bit of different points. This one has a um, kind of like an offset for the top of the screw if you put the screw all the way to it, like a counter bore or countersink. Okay, same thing here, and you'll do different ones with different files, okay? If you hover over them, it actually tells you. That's a countersink. Let's see what this one is. A spot face, a counter bore, and a drilled. Let's assume we're drilling it. Um, this is a simple hole. This is a clearance hole. This is a tapped hole. It's going to have threads. And this is a taper tapped hole. You can see it gets bigger as it goes down, okay? Your drill point, you can have it where it's an angle or where it's flat. So for this one, let's say we want to go four inches all the way through. And we want the diameter to be a half an inch, so 0 0.5. And hit OK. And you can see by looking at the front, that hole goes all the way through. OK? So that's one way to make it. There's also another way to make it. So let's go to the back. Use this and find the back. And let's go to the right. We've already got a hole there. So the right side. Right click, new sketch. Let's put a point here. And I'm going to zoom in. It's kind of tough to see that. Let's dimension it one inch from the top. Always drag your dimensions out to the side so you can see them and then one inch from this side as well. It should move it to the right. Okay, so we've got a point here. Right click, finish 2D sketch. Again, I'm going to zoom back in. Use this pan tool. It's very helpful when you start doing this. Okay, so now we want to make a pattern of holes here. So let's do a rectangular pattern. This is going to be, now nah, we got to make a hole first. Let's make a hole here. This time let's make it go in one inch. Let's make the depth 0.25 and let's make it tapped where it's going to have some threads and this tells you it's a quarter of an inch. Um, you can change all sorts of designations, but use the one it gives you right now, class 2B, hit OK. So now you can see that's a tapped hole. Okay. And actually, I don't like that. So let's see. Let's double click this. And let's go back to a clearance hole. Um, let's make it go a little bit deeper. Let's make it go one inch. Hit OK. Wow, that's still way too small. Um, let's change our diameter. I, I see why. The diameter, let's make it 0.75 inches. It changed. Okay, we've made our hole here. Um, that's another way to do it. Let's see if we can do a 3D pattern here. So here's our feature. Direction 1 is to the right. Direction 2 is going to be down. And again, if you want to go up, you flip it. If you want to go left, flip it. Just like you learned in the 2D pattern. Let's have three holes each way. Uh, spacing is one inch now. Something you have to remember when you're doing this one inch, it is from the, the center point, okay, not the outer edge. So let's change this one. 1.25. Yeah, that's too much. Let's leave it one inch. That looks pretty good. Okay. And hit OK. And then it makes that hole for you. Okay. As well. And they're all the same depth, same diameter. So save this as. Save that as Mr. V Lesson 8 Hole Pattern. And then hit save. And that's it for this video. And the next one we're going to learn some more things to do in the 3D figures.